Hello, this is Adib. Um, I would like to talk a bit about, uh, well, uh, uh, if you don't know me, check uh, 19.org. Also at Amazon.com you will see Quran and Reformist Translation. Uh, I have written uh, numerous books uh, in Turkish and few books in English. And also about this book also you may, I will be talking about, in fact, some about this. Um, I would like to share with you a site, which is a very interesting site, beautiful site, but it has some inaccuracy, some problem, some uh, derived from their lack of uh, knowledge about uh, how to really be precise regarding the count of words of the Quran, because I have worked on this subject. And also the other is about their influence from hadith. Hadith means fabricated stories falsely attributed to Muhammad centuries after Prophet Muhammad. For example, the Sunni's most, most authentic hadith book, which is Bukhari, it was gathered together by a guy called Bukhari from Bukhara, from Samarkand. And then he comes around, wanders around and collects hundreds of uh, thousands of hadiths, according to his claim, 600,000 hadiths. If you think about the volumes of books, about each 600 books, imagine, uh, 600 uh, pages, it will be 1,000 books, uh, each 600 pages. If one uh, hadith, half a page, with this chain of narrators, it will be about 500 volumes of book worth of collection supposedly he did in his short time <laughs> and then he went through them sort them and evaluated them critically for each of them he took ablution and prayed and then he finally eliminated 98 point some percent of them end up with 7200 about 25 hadiths and we see there are trouble a lot of insults to Prophet Muhammad, depict him as a sexual maniac, as a murderer, as a kind of torturer, sometimes more merciful than God, some the worst person, all kind of characters. Uh, prohibited many things that God did not prohibit, or imported some rules, laws from uh, borrowed from mushriks, from Jews, like stoning to death, which has nothing to the Quran. Or, um, or di distorted the meaning of some word like jizya, war reparation, turn it to an extra taxation for people because they don't believe the way you believe, which is a compulsion, uh, financial duress on Christians and Jews. Or many, many, uh, I have lists of them, uh, or uh, killing an apostate, or beating someone who doesn't pray, basically, or even killing that person and uh, or basically putting women in a black sex and basically burying a woman while alive depriving from personality identity and absolutely isolating from society making the slave of a man and uh, these books because they follow these books and they distorted the meaning of many words there and that they and it's very interesting some of them are very obvious that you can easily find out just by looking few verses above and down i will give you just a few examples therefore when you go to this site which is uh, quran corpus.quran.com as i said a lot of uh, work has gone into this and I congratulate many people who work on this, but I invite them to be careful about uh, the influence of hadith and sectarian teachings and be respecting to the Quran, the only book delivered by Muhammad in chapter 6, verse 19. <laughs> to warn you with this book, I was I am given the Quran to warn you and those who receive it. Anyway, uh, obeying God and messenger, messenger's whole mission is to deliver the Quran, not to explain it. Even the Quran says you don't rush into explaining. We are going to explain. God explains the Quran. The Quran is mubin, means obvious, open, easy to understand. 
لقد يسن القرآن لذكر فهل من مذكر repeats four times in chapter fifty four or many other verses in the Quran says مفصل it is detailed the religious clergymen who fabricated religion through hadith and sectarian fiqh teaching they basically says no Quran is not easy is not مفصل is not detailed where can we find the fabrications that we made means how to put our hands where. There are more than 90, 98 hadiths about where to put your hand while praying. Who cares? God doesn't care where you put your hand while standing in prayer. But when they ask these stupid questions and they start fabricating, first there, there is a demand. They first created a false demand and then fabricate. And they put, according to that hadith, you can put your hand on, under you, over your belly or here or here or release it. All sorts possible to all the combinations covered. <laughs> you don't need that. That means anything is okay. They they made up a story and they come up with contradictory answer and they divide them same into sex, or uh, the, how many units? Raka. There is no such a thing. It is your own fabrication. Like what is the color of the hair? Like Jewish people ask that question. Okay, I don't want to spend much time. I have this discussed this in detail in uh, Manifesto for Islamic Reform. Please go check that in, uh, in 19.org. You will find a PDF version you can download or you can read online or you can purchase from uh, Amazon.com. I am not making money from my books. In fact, I, uh, I spend much more money and time on writing this book, I put my life at risk. I was a very prominent uh, youth leader in Turkey, and I was friend with uh, today's president of Turkey, Tayyip Erdogan, or Ahmed Davutoglu. From school, we were friends. Also from the party youth movement, I was in fact ahead of them. I was on top of them in the youth movement, and uh, I parted my way away. I was on the zenith of my reputation and career at 27 years old. I was best-selling author for several years, number one in my books. But I rejected all of them. I put my life at risk because I saw that the religion I was promoting, Sunni religion or Shia, it doesn't matter. They are all the same. Well, unfortunately, religions uh, fabricated against Islam and introduced as Islam, which has nothing to do with Islam. When I start criticizing, I was excommunicated. I was declared heretic to be killed. And I was censored, I couldn't defend myself against their barrage of criticism and lies and fabrications against me. And then I had to immigrate to the United States. Anyway, look at this guy, look at this. For example, I checked the word yawn. The word yawn here, it says it's mentioned four or five times, which is absolutely an error. And uh, here I have the list of the word yawn here. And uh, at this book. In fact, we discussed this. Some people, based on this, they argued against it. We proved to them that there are exactly this many. And uh, let me see. Okay. Here, I have the list. Please check this one. Okay. You can stop it and look at it. And the word month, uh, it is... Uh, the word the yom is mentioned exactly 365 times. Yomukum, your day, is mentioned five times because it is monogram, it is connected to it, those uh, pronouns. And yomuhim means their day, it is repeated five times. A yom, plural form, mentioned 27 times. Another plural form for uh, two days, it is yomain, it's three times. Yomaidin, it is again one word, that day. It's 70 times. Total 475 times. The whole repetition of the word day is mentioned uh, 19 times, 25 times. Interestingly, the singular form yawm, without any uh, connection of uh, pronouns, it is mentioned exactly 365 times. The plural form is also very interesting. That's also equals to the number of days in a month. Uh, very interesting. All the variations, all the details here is fantastic. And uh, I want to see another one. Uh, here, for example, the word Rahman. This is more accurate count. But here is a mistake. The word uh, Rahim is mentioned in the Quran 115 times. 
in the end of chapter uh, 9, one is mentioned for Muhammad, falsely mentioned for Muhammad. That is, when you exclude that one, there are exactly 114 for God, but there is no 116 times Rahim. It is another mistake with the one at the end of chapter 9, the one that is used for Muhammad together with the 115. And uh, that's another error there. There are many other errors, but here I want to how in the meaning they make uh, major, major distortions. Let's say verse from 28 to the rest to look at it. Let's look at verse 29. لَوَّهَةٌ لِلْبَشَرِ لَوَّهَةٌ لِلْبَشَرِ You see? It is, لَوَّهَةٌ means not scorching. Absolutely, لَوْحَ means uh, to open like screen. الْوَحْ it is plural of lawha means the tablets given to Moses. The word al-wah, lawaha, is used. And uh, it has nothing to do with scorching. It may be a secondary meaning, but throughout the Quran, it is the derivative of the same root. Lawaha is used as screen, as open, manifest things, like tablets, like open surface, like this one. This is lawaha, it's open. Uh, and uh, Bashar, you see, says for human, the human skin, scorching the human skin, which is absolutely a mistake because the word Bashar is used throughout the Quran as uh, human. For example, look at this word Bashar, look at this, recognize it with your eyes, you don't need to know Arabic. Look at this word, Bi Bashara. And then go check here the previous verses and then see. Look at this Bashar here and says human being. Just four verses before, in verse 25 of chapter 74, it says Bashar, human being, correct? Bashar, the same word, human being. But over there, the following verse, uh, basically four verses afterwards, it says skin. Let's go to see another interesting list. 31, verse 31, 37. Let's look, look at the end of 31. All the word Bashar in the Quran is always, always means human being. Look at this Bashar here. Do you see it? Here. This Bashar means human. Look. The human beings. Basically, <laughs> interestingly, God doesn't give them even leeway. A few verses before and uh, two verses afterwards, the word Bashar is mentioned as a human being, but somewhere in the middle, they turn it to skin, which is in the Quran is mentioned as a jild. Ejlad is the uh, plural form. Jild means skin. But Bashar means human being. Somehow, out of their heads, they take the rabbit, they just in order to distort meaning because they want to hide the miracle of the Quran, which is 19. This is about 19. 19 is Lawahatun Lil Bashar. It is universal, obvious for everyone. Alayhatis Ata Asher. Over it is 19. In order to hide it, they distort. There are several other terrible mistakes deliberately done over there in order to hide the meaning. In the past, they didn't understand, but I don't think they did this distortion. They said, we don't know, this must be something in the future which does, which meaning came to explain uh, God um, let someone to discover exactly 19 times 74 lunar years after revelation of the Quran. 19 is mentioned in chapter 74. In 1974 it was discovered. This is one of the book. This is the book about it, and this is my arguments, discussion on this. Uh, uh, I basically, these people trying to hide this miracle, they distort it, they fabricate a lot of lies about it. Please first look at this and later listen to them. Because you need to know about the thesis first and then later be able to judge whether criticism makes sense. Assalamu alaikum, take care.